All right, so this is the Mystery Tackle Box Panfish Edition for February. And I know it's March, I've been kind of putting this video off, but today I'm, gonna, I'm here at the pond and I'm gonna be doing a slam. And uh, basically, instead of just unboxing it right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tie on each of the lures and just tell you about them as I catch the fish on them. But basically, we got some stuff in here. We're just gonna be going for crappie and bluegill and whatever else we can get to bite. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the first lure. All right, so right here, the first lure we're gonna be trying is this river to sea dragonfly right here, this bug. Now, this is actually a topwater lure, and I've been told this thing will catch panfish like crazy. You can see there, it's got kind of a jitterbug kind of style head right there. So uh, let's tie this on and see what we can catch. All right, so I can already see right off the bat that that bug is not gonna work. That dragonfly is not gonna catch me a panfish right now. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up and use some of the smaller ones first. And uh, the first one right here is the little whipper jig. And uh, basically, this is like a little ice jig, kind of. I mean, you can use it for just about anything. But it's got a real tiny little jig head on it, right there. And this nice little tail. And I think this should be able to catch us some panfish. Oh, there we go. There's a little guy on that little jig. Wow. That right there is a beautiful little green sunfish. Right there. Look at that. It's all dark and colored. You can see there's that ice jig. Oh, came right out on that little whippet ice jig right there. And he came right out of a rock to get that. So let's let him go. Alright, so the next item that we're going to be catching on is this little What's It ice jig. It mimics a little cricket or something. And uh, it's got this, it's got the same design or weight of the hook as the other bait did. But this time it's got this little cricket design right here. And uh, it already comes pre with a jig head right there, a little tiny jig head. So let's tie that on and see how many we can catch. There's a bite right there. There we go. Alright, there we go. That is the second fish of the slam. This also happens to be a little green sunfish right there on that little ice jig. Boom. Beautiful little guy. These are all really dark, but right out here next to this current, they're all sitting there probably waiting up for all that oxygen. So uh, let's let this guy go. Okay, so the next two baits we're gonna be using aren't really baits, but right here we got hooks, just some little hooks like that. These are offset and uh, some little three-way swivels. So basically, this was all that's included. So for this rig, I'm gonna be using a little drop shot weight and some little worms for the actual rig. So that is gonna be the setup. This and the drop shot weight did not come in the box. It's just those two things, so I had to add those in. So uh, let's try this rig. All right, so there's our three-way rig right there. We got the little triple swivel, drop shot, and then off the side here, I got my little worm. And I'm just gonna basically let this sit in the current, and the current is gonna blow that worm around, and all I gotta do is sit there and wait. And this shouldn't take too long. All I did was wacky worm the worm on there, just hooked it straight through the middle, and that should give me a good chance of getting a fish. There we go. Okay, that is a really nice, really nice sunfish right there. See that right there on the roof of the mouth on that pink worm, kind of drop shot rig. Boom, look at that. There's that big old green sunfish right there. Beautiful colors, big old belly, nice fish right there. That is the third fish. Now it looks like we've only got two more to go. So let's go ahead and let this guy go. Alright, since this spot's been producing pretty good, I'm just going to go ahead and stay here. The next lure is the Mini Ninny, right there by Zorro Bait Company. Now, this is basically a little jig or something, 
This is more suited for crappie, but since we caught that big old green sunfish right there, we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. It's a little big for some of the small ones, but I think we can end up catching a big one on it, so let's try that. <laughs> okay, that's not a panfish. Look at that. That right there is a spotted bass. Wow. <laughs> this is the first spotted bass I've ever seen come out of this pond here. Look at that. That is a beautiful spotted bass right there. Beautiful Texas spot. Look at that right there in the corner. Just jigging right next to that stump. Wow. And the way you can tell that this is actually a spotted bass and not a largemouth is one, the lateral lines here, you can see those lines there. And two, they have a rough patch on their tongue. I can feel that right there. Uh, it's kind of a little toothy patch. Yeah, I think you can see it in there a little bit, right there. But that right there is a beautiful spotted bass. <laughs> Good way to almost finish off the MTB slam. Look at that. Beautiful fish, let's get a release. There we go, let's say goodbye to our nice little spotted bass. There we go. Okay, so that right there was a fantastic way to end the MTV Slam. And I caught it on that jig right there, that nice spotted bass. It had been a pound, pound and a half. Now, I'm not completely done with this, but the lure that stumped me the most is this dragonfly right here. This is not a panfish lure. <laughs> Um, I could not get them to bite it. I'd let it sit there, you know, for extended amount of time. I could not get anything to bite this. It even scared bass away. It just has a crazy action. Um, I don't see this as being used for anything besides pike. <laughs> but um, besides that, we got the whole slam done, besides that one right there. Um, and we caught a nice spotted bass and some three really nice uh, green eared sunfish. So that is gonna about do it for today um, I hope you enjoyed today's episode uh, I'm gonna come back to that dragonfly bait definitely it needs to catch a fish um, but for now we're just gonna leave it like that so I guess I will see y'all in the next adventure bye bye